Do you have any idea? 10 Simple Ways to Build Up Your Self-Esteem Once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight or any experience that reveals the human spirit. E. E. Cummings We hear this term self-esteem very often in our lives, but what exactly does it mean? If you understand the explanation given on Wikipedia, Self-esteem is an individual's subjective evaluation of his worth. Simply put, self-esteem is thinking and feeling a pattern of yours towards yourself. It is the opinion that you hold about yourself and your capabilities. High self-esteem gives you a positive mindset about yourself which boosts your confidence. This gives you the resiliency to handle the ups and downs in your life more smoothly. A specific time comes in everyone's life when they are unable to maintain belief in themselves, which leads to doubt in their abilities, and this can leave them feeling demotivated. But if the state of mind becomes a long-term thing, this can create many critical situations in life. They will find it hard to get back up when they face any kind of challenge and setbacks in life. All of these circumstances can result in a lack of self-esteem, and this can affect people's behavior, hindering their way of achievement. Having high self-esteem is a beautiful thing, but improving it can be a hard task for many. Before anything, you have to understand that you cannot improve your self-esteem overnight. It is a process and it will take time. There are some tips and ways which can help you in this process. In this video, we are going to discuss simple ways that can be helpful to you in this journey of improvement of your self-esteem. Number 1. Cultivate Positivity Pushing Aside Negativity the first and foremost thing you have to do is to identify the beliefs of yours that are dragging your self-esteem down. Concluding that you are a total failure, just facing some complications in life is not the wisest thing. Negative thinking about yourself contributes to harmful habits, which leads to adverse outcomes in life, which ultimately just breaks your self-esteem more down. This can turn into a never-ending cycle, making you less and less of yourself. Keep your thoughts and feelings about yourself in check. Whenever you feel low about yourself, think about something that can counter those feelings. Write down both of the statements and try to see how the negative emotions are pulling you backward. Instead of thinking, I am not good enough, try to think, I can do this. At first, you will find getting back at those negative thoughts a bit harder, but regular efforts can help you deal with it. Number 2. Clarify your values. Aligning the lifestyle that you are living with the preset value of yours can quickly boost up your self-esteem. If you're compromising your values in your day-to-day -day life without giving it any thought, then you're just setting you up for low self-esteem and low confidence. For example, if you made a plan to visit the gym regularly, every time you follow that through, you are developing a mindset that you are trustworthy and dependable, and avoiding the plan just does the opposite to you. Yes. Following through your commitments could be hard if the values are not enough to clear and to captivate. Having unclear values leads to a lack of motivation. Having clear values indicates the clear visions that you look forward to achieving. So, make time to clarify and elaborate on your values and act accordingly. Number 3. Be easy on yourself. Whenever you feel low about yourself, your inner critic rises and takes control of your brain. It damages your self-esteem even further by criticizing your every movement. People tend to become more critical on themselves while in the state of feeling low self-esteem. Try to replace the self-criticism with self-compassion. Try to be sweeter and kind towards yourself. Whenever your inner critic tries to come into action, try to speak to yourself like you would talk to your friend if they were in this similar kind of situation. We tend to give far better advices to others than we offer to ourselves. This could be hard at first, but practice and patience are the pillars of success. Number 4. Try to be more assertive Assertiveness is simply about being able to stand up for your own or others' rights more positively and calmly while also respecting the opinion and needs of other people. Low self-esteem people often find it hard to stand up for themselves and also find it difficult to say no to others. They take this for granted that because of their negative thinking pattern about themselves, they are unable to refuse anyone. So, this leads them to say yes to things that they are not interested in engaging in. 
This makes them feel overburdened and develop stress. So try to be more assertive in life and this can help you to improve your self-esteem. Try to look at the people who are more confident in their lives and take tips and hints from them. Be sure to say no to something that you don't want to be part of. It will not make you look bad just to express your feelings. Number 5. Don't run after perfection. Always seeking perfection in your life is a destructive habit. This habit of perfection makes you unable to take any actions as you are afraid that you wouldn't live up to the standards that you set. Or if you've taken step but will be dissatisfied with your accomplishment and performance. This pushes your negative thoughts about yourself up, collapsing your motivation and confidence. Whenever you want a result to be perfect, the project or task will seem to be never being finished because you will find a small mistake in it no matter what. No one can be perfect all the time, so try to run for excellence. Be happy with good enough where it can be taken as an achievement and when the project is over, be satisfied knowing the fact that you gave your best to achieve it. Number 6. Take on challenges in life Another trait of people with low self-esteem is that they try to avoid any kind of situation that they find challenging and difficult for them. We all feel the pressure of doing some things at times and get nervous while trying out new things taking up challenges in life, but people who think highly of themselves don't let these kinds of feelings get in the way of taking on the problems. This helps them to maintain their self-esteem. But this doesn't mean that you will take on something head-on that you're not familiar with at all. Taking on challenges is more about sitting on the edge of your comfortable seat, trying out the things that you were afraid you would fail. Prepare yourself to try something that you thought would be difficult to achieve. Success on those challenges will uplift your self-esteem. Number 7. Handle mistakes and failures efficiently. When you set your foot out of your comfort zone and try to achieve something greater in life, which could be truly meaningful to you, then along the way you are bound to stumble and face failure. The low esteemed people find it difficult to accept that failure and let the failures to damage their confidence, motivation and self-worth. You have to be reasonable with this fact because no one in the world accomplished something without facing any kind of failure or making any kind of mistakes. Mistakes are a part of life and by making mistakes we learn and that's what makes us more experienced. There is a lesson to be learned from every mistake you have made. Learn from your mistakes and don't repeat it in your next try. Number 8. Cultivate Gratitude Gratitude in life can bring many positive changes in your life and magnifying your self-esteem is one of them. If you take a closer look at the person with high self-esteem, you will find that they are more grateful for their life and their accomplishments. Appreciating what you have achieved while walking on the path of life and how much affection you have received from others can bring humbleness. It will also make you feel more positive in life and help you to improve your self-image. Gratitude helps you to build up social bonds and even strengthen them up. When we are compassionate towards ourselves and others as well, we cannot help but hold on to high regard for ourselves. So take some time to simply be grateful in life. Number 9. Surround yourself with positive people. We all have certain people in our lives around whom we feel better than others. When we are around them, we tend to have more confidence in ourselves and find ourselves having far higher self-esteem than usual. On the other hand, some people have the opposite effect on us when we are around them. So try to choose a surround of people more efficiently. Try to avoid people who are causing you to feel bad about yourself. Improve your self-esteem by being around the people who support you and value you. Number 10. Don't fall into the comparison trap. Social media has brought us closer but also has given us the chance to look closer into others' life. This gives us the perfect opportunity for comparison. If you are more likely to compare your experience and accomplishments with others, then you are cultivating destructive habits. The reason is that in this comparing game, you will never win. There is always someone better than us in something and we will only compare with those who are better than us. When you find someone having a better life than us, it makes us question our ability. Judge our weaknesses and this makes our self-esteem fall. Well, it is natural for us to compare things, but if it is making you have a low opinion about yourself, then it is high time to stop. Try to compare yourself with yourself, with the better version of yourself. Focus on yourself and how you can improve your efforts. This will help your self-esteem to rise. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. 
and for more videos don't forget to hit the subscribe